Okay, so Kristen Chenoweth and Derek Huff came off to the side that we were on because we were like sitting in the bleachers on like the side towards the edge and we screamed I love you at Derek Huff and he climbed up the side of it popped his head up he was like standing over leaning over he said hi girls how did you like it and we were like freaking out because he was right there in his shiny suit ah! and then I screamed I love you you're the reason I started singing at Kristen Channel and then she turned around and she said thank you and then she did this and I <laughs> so good I'm honestly like I'm not jumping up and down like Maddie but I'm kind of in like shock right now because it was just so amazing and oh it was so good and it was so like incredible to do it so yeah so now that we've gotten home and I'm semi calm down tell you all about what happened we had the opportunity to be extras in a hairspray live got my wristband on. For those of you who have been living under a rock, Fox and NBC have been doing these live productions of musicals. Sound of Music, Peter Pan, they did Grease, and tonight's live show was Hairspray Live. Hairspray is a musical about the 60s and it's about a dancing TV show called The Corny Collin Show which is basically American Bandstand and it's about these kids in Baltimore, Maryland. There's this girl Tracy who's a bit of an outcast, she's overweight and she's a, she's hair, a hopper. hair hopper so she's got the big so default. she's like pretty like current and she knows the trends and she's actually pretty cool but nobody in her town really accepts her and she auditions to be on the Courtney Collins show and along the way she meets many friends and fights against segregation in order to make everything integrated. It's just a really powerful great story and there was a movie first that wasn't a musical and then they made it into a Broadway show and then there was a movie of the Broadway show which my opinion was I mean, it was okay. It wasn't that great. But then this was just um and so good and incredible. It was, so it was good. amazing. We gotta be members of the Courtney Collins show audience. It was just really cool being able to see everything live and hear everyone sing and now I can tell people I've seen Ariana Grande live. Because we got to be extras for this, we went to Universal Studios in Hollywood this morning at one well, one o'clock. And we had to like. Well, it's really this afternoon. We had to wait in line for a little bit, and everyone was dressed in like their '60s outfits because we had to like dress '60s so we could be in the audience. And then they took us on a tram to the set, and different people went to different places. Like some people went to an outside set, some people moved around, and some people like Maddie and I were in the audience for the Corny Collins show, which was the inside and it was just so incredible because we got to sit there and we got to watch what wasn't going on in our sound stage on a monitor so we got to see the whole thing we got to watch it in real life which was incredibly surreal to me it didn't even feel like watching a play i felt like i was watching a movie but also i don't know it was just so incredible like it didn't even feel real the amount of talent that was there was just so insane jennifer hudson was there ariana grande kristen chenoweth uh dove cameron garrett clayton yeah derek huff just yeah, everyone was, was incredible. incredible and darren chris was kind of emceeing and hosting the whole thing giving facts and talking to people. Crazy bunch of kids crashed through that door, yeah. Derek Huff was incredibly nice. So yo, we love you, Derek. And he turns around and he climbs up the side of the bleachers, which is like where we were sitting in the audience. And he like went right up to us and was He's like, like hi. hi, how did you guys like it? We're like, oh, it was so awesome. Good. He's so, so nice. nice. I saw Martin Short and Kristen Chenoweth taking selfies and talking and hugging. And it was just oh, it was so, so awesome. After it was over and they all went off stage for the last commercial break before like the bows and big finale thing, you could see them all like in the wings like crying and hugging each other and it was just really sweet. It was basically opening night and closing night for them. Who was the cutest person there? Garrett, Garrett Clayton. Yeah. He, he, if you don't know, he was also a Teen Beach movie and I loved him in both of those oh okay speaking of so great oh so teen beach movie was kind of like a it was like based off a bunch of like 60s movies and stuff and they did something like the roll call in hairspray roll call! in teen beach movie 
and uh, Garrett Clayton's character Tanner did the part that Link does where it's like, and I'm that whole thing. He did that, and then he did it in hairspray, and it was like really messing me up because it was the same oh. thing. Oh, so good! It was so good. Nine. Link. Duff Cameron was so good. I, Honestly, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, she's not going to be bad, but Amber is like my dream role. Amber's character is such a great character. But who does I didn't play really Amber? know like how well she was going to do, but I thought she did like a really good job. Also, Ariana Grande, I was a little surprised at her casting of Penny. They're, they aren't very similar people, and Penny like isn't supposed to be like necessarily pretty, and Ariana Grande is this gorgeous human being. Jennifer Hudson. Killed it as Motor Mouth Babel. She was amazing. The two songs she sang were just awesome. Her two big songs, Big Blonde and Beautiful. I didn't get to see that was, one live, which was sad, but I saw the other one. You scared. can't stop the beat. We were sitting up in the bleachers for that. We were like standing up and clapping and dancing and stuff. It was so awesome. It was, it was so cool. It was just so surreal. It was uh, like I want to compare it to things, but I, I honestly can't. It's such a novel experience in itself. There was like a lot of waiting and sitting around. They didn't want anyone to have their phones. You literally could not bring it with you. Eight hours without your phone is kind of hard, especially when you're not doing anything and for when you're 14. So Harvey Firestein was the original of the musical Hairspray Edna, which is Tracy's, Black. Tracy's mom. Tracy! <laughs> And he was really great and really funny. I think my favorite character was Tracy. So I thought the actress who played her just did an incredible job. She was a really great actor. You didn't really like Good Morning Baltimore, but I thought, I thought it was, it was good, good. But like, I, I really liked it, and I thought she has a great voice. I she did a really good job. Okay, let me let me clarify. I liked Good Morning Baltimore, but I just felt like she just kept getting better and better the whole show. And Good Morning Baltimore like was like. Started here, which is like great, and then it just got like to the extreme. My favorite song was probably either uh, You Can't Stop the Beat, which was like the ending song, which I think is like everyone's favorite song, but I gotta like see that live, so I think that one was my favorite. Or um, I really liked the, the Hey Mama song yeah. because they changed it for this because in the movie it's just Tracy singing. But they had Amber and Penny also singing it in this, and I thought it actually worked pretty well. Kristen Chenoweth went did a really good job yeah. with that, because all the moms. I, I like You Can't Stop the Beat, but like, who doesn't like that one, honestly? It's like, it's such, like a, such a good song. I liked Big Blonde and Beautiful a lot. Yeah. I really liked uh, Lady's Choice and Run and Tell That. And the actor who played Seaweed, Ephraim Sykes, he was actually, he was in. Hamilton. He was um, Mr. George Eaker and he played seaweed and I love seaweed. He's like my favorite character in the movie movie because I love that whole little storyline, that part of it. There was also a little bit of a Hamilton reference in there. At one point Link said I am not throwing away my shot and you could and hear everyone a collective goes, gasp like oh 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 because it's just Hamilton. Oh, and on the tram when we were riding to the sound stage, they were playing like clips of music and movies and stuff, and they played an audio clip of Dancing Queen, and it was just a tram full of like theater kids, and everyone started singing. So that's all for now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Periscope, add us on Snapchat, and links on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And check back every Thursday on comicbooks.com for new videos. And if you didn't watch Hairspray already, go watch it. It's all over social media. You'll Find it You'll find something. Bye! You can try to stop the avalanches and races down the hill. You can try to stop the seasons, girl, but you know you never will.